And we have the pleasure joining us now, uh, former 2016 CA Football Defensive Player of the Year, Villanova Wildcat, and now Super Bowl champion, Tano Passigno. Tano, first of all, uh, thank you for joining us. And before we get into deep into our interview today, uh, how are you doing and those around you in your circle as we deal with the coronavirus right now? Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, just making things work, you know, uh, in this weird time we're in and my family's all right. My mom's actually in Uganda right now. That's uh, her home country. And uh, the cases there are really, really uh, small. So she's, she's fine just bunkering down there and staying safe. Well, indeed, we'll be thinking about you and your family here and abroad uh, as we continue to go through this pandemic right now. And speaking of the pandemic, how, is this, uh, how have you been able to maintain your training uh, during this time? Uh, I mean, that's where grit kicks in, you know, you, uh, make it work. So I got bands, I got some kettlebells and, um, a couple, couple weights, but not, not that much. And, uh, got some workout plans from our team and some coaches that I know work with and just doing it at home in the backyard. Now, last season couldn't have ended any better as the Chiefs won the Super Bowl over the 49ers. What was that experience like? Uh, that was an awesome experience. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, you know, you get quest you get asked a lot about it um, after, afterwards, and before. Um, there's a lot of hype around it, and honestly, it's just a game. Once once you uh, play it, once you start playing, um, you then realize like it's the most one of the most amazing games you're playing in. But uh, it still just becomes a game when you're playing and. Uh, it was just an awesome moment to be able to live through experience at such a early point in my career and hopefully do it again and again and again. Absolutely. And and what maybe stood out the most? Is it just the aura around this event? Is it, you know, winning the title and everything that comes after it? I mean, I, you know, I just can only imagine that, you know, sleep deprivation almost comes in at some point during the, this whole, uh, the, the whole process. Yeah, um, it is a process. It actually reminded me a lot of the process coming out of college where there's all this hype around you. There's a lot of uh, demand for your time. There's a lot of planning. Uh, so just uh, having gone through that, like going through the combine, going through the senior bowl, doing all that stuff, uh, even before entering the league, almost gives you a little taste of what the chaos is like, but it's, it's still nothing like what it was. Um, but yeah, you just, you, you face it like anything else and then you come out winning. Last season, you earned a spot in the starting lineup at defensive end and recorded four sacks. What did it mean to play such a key role on a Super Bowl winning team? Um, it meant a lot to me, honestly, uh, just because I've been working hard to just get to that point. Um, and to be able to start in the Super Bowl and win is, was something that I will never forget. Your playing time has steadily increased during your time in Kansas City, and you moved around between linebacker and defensive end during your career. What has been the most challenging part to becoming a starter in the NFL? Uh, kind of finding that role, kind of, kind of finding your spot um, on the team. That's something every guy's trying to do once they step in the door. And uh, for me, that was a lot of roles, and I felt like uh, – I showed the coaches that I could do a lot of different things. So it was it was both of us just trying to find out where I fit best. And uh, I, felt, I feel like I've kind of found that now. Now, the NFL draft recently concluded. Uh, you were a second-round pick, 59th overall in the 2017 NFL draft. So it wasn't that long ago, and you were sitting around waiting to hear your name called. What do you remember most about that time? Uh, just really – just the the craziness, like I was saying earlier, um, from the, trying to find an agent uh, to that day that I got the phone call. Uh, we didn't know what day it was, didn't know what team it was. There's a lot of question marks around um, what's going to happen. And all you can do is kind of work with what you've put out there and what you've put on film in the past, what you've done for coaches during workouts, what you've done uh, leading all the way up to that moment. But uh, 
that moment was uh, just surreal, you know, uh, getting that phone call from Andy Reid um, and the whole staff was just awesome. Uh, finding out it was Andy Reid was cool. <laughs> so it was just, it was amazing. What was the toughest part transitioning from Villanova to the NFL? Uh, probably just the uh, football language and the football uh, just – what I was, what I needed to know, I guess, uh, at Nova, I really just played one position, the end. Uh, and my job was really simple. It's either you're going inside, containing outside, or uh, rushing. So uh, that transition uh, was definitely something new for me, but I felt like I picked it up pretty, pretty well. Tano, in the recent NFL draft, uh, two more players out of the CAA were selected, which marks the 15th consecutive season that multiple players have been selected in the NFL draft out of the conference. Uh, what do you think that says about the league that you played in? And, and what do you say to players on your team that maybe aren't too familiar with CAA football or, the, you know, the conference that you played in in college? I mean, it's a it's super – it's just so competitive. Um, a lot of guys get there because they're either mislooked uh, in high school or just for one reason or another. And um, coming out of that, uh, as you can see, we're consistently kind of getting guys on teams and sticking with teams and having success on teams. Uh, so so uh, the league definitely is starting to recognize our, uh, our division is, or our conference is something really special. What would your message be to those players that are now that were that were kind of in your shoes, coming from the same conference as they get? That you know we had the the two players selected in the draft and a host of unrestricted rookie free agent contracts going on right now. Uh, what would your message be to them as they try to find you know their roles and niches here in the NFL? Uh, I guess my biggest message would just uh, be that they belong there. That's one thing I had to kind of wake up and realize was um, I belong in the NFL. I belong with all this competition here uh, just because of where we came from. People will definitely doubt uh, who we've been playing or uh, the, I guess, the competition you see. But uh, the fact that you're you're on a team or that you've been picked up or that a team even shows interest, that, that your foot's just in the door and uh, just to know that you belong there. <laughs> Here with Tano Passanio, former Villanova Wildcat, and now Super Bowl champion with the Kansas City Chiefs. You had the opportunity to play for Andy Talley, who recently found out that he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. What is it like playing for him, and what did you learn the most from him? Um, he, he taught us a lot while, um, while I was there, and you can tell he's a good guy just from the older guys. Uh, Everyone coming back, you can see a lot of people coming back to Nova, giving back to the team and um, just how how he helped us not only, I guess, not only on the field, it was more more of a father figure. He uh, told, always reminded us that uh, football kind of wasn't the only thing, wasn't going to be the only thing in our lives and uh, was just super, super honest about schoolwork and getting our education. Because as you know, like Villanova is very uh, highly ranked educational program. So education was huge with him. Um, and we had many kids like me on, in the business school, just in, or uh, engineers or doctors even, um, just doing other things outside of football. So he, he hopped on being a good person and uh, – becoming just a well-rounded human being. And now, of course, you play for one of the legends in NFL coaching in Andy Reid. What has that been like? And is there any kind of contrasting or comparing between uh, Coach Talley and Coach Reid? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I, I feel like I've played for – or I'm, I'm playing and have played for some great Andys. Uh, and uh, Coach Reid, he actually grew up around – or. He lived around Nova when he was coaching for the Eagles, and uh, he's such a down-to-earth, personal guy, personable guy, um, and like still to this day gives or uh, talks about jokes or talks about just little Villanova like uh, takeout things, delivery, uh, just food, a lot of food-oriented things, but just get a lot of food jokes uh, around the area and just uh, 
you could tell with him as well, the older guys uh, talk greatly about him. Shady, when he was on the team, he was talking greatly about him. All the guys just have good things to say about him, and that goes a long way with, uh, especially in the league where business comes into play and things like that. But uh, he, he's a great coach to play for and a great guy to uh, be around. Wrapping up today with Tano Passino, former Villanova Wildcat and now Super Bowl champion. And Tano, what are your goals for the future? You've already accomplished, you know, a lot so far early on. You, you found a starting role with the Chiefs, won a Super Bowl. Uh, what are you – what type of goals are do you have in mind um, as you head into this season? Uh, well, a lot of people – or I mean, not a lot of people, but people have won one Super Bowl. I mean, I'm trying to do – more get get more Super Bowls, get more uh, just accomplishments under my belt and our belt as a team. So uh, I know this happened early in my career, so there's a lot to kind of build up on, build upon. Okay, Tano passing you of uh, Villanova Wildcat and now Super Bowl champion for the Kansas City Chiefs. Thank you so much for joining us. Stay healthy and safe out there, and we look forward to you playing in the upcoming NFL season. Thank you. I appreciate it.